gotta march, march. march. We got to fight, fight. We gotta hold on, hold, hold on. on. We gonna make it, make it. The chariot of justice, justice. justice. I see it coming.
take a closer look at your leadership and in what direction you're taking the National Council of Negro Women. What would Dr. Bethune say? We want justice, we want peace, we want protection from the police. We want, they want. They don't even know what they want. We almost didn't have a march. Dorothy, we need you. You're like the daughter that I never had. I thought about you today. That's why I'm here. Dr. Bethune, life will be a challenge. The day will come, you'll have to choose to stand for your belief. This is your destiny. Dorothy, Dorothy, you will be someone who the world will know. Can't you see that I will be right here beside you everywhere? Every time there's a crisis and I have to talk to someone, I always think about you. What would Dr. Bethune do in this situation? What would I do? What would Dorothy Height do? The National Council of Negro Women are very upset. About what? There was no riot, nobody got hurt, and there was no one arrested. The women are up in arms over the fact that the male leadership did not allow one woman to speak or express the role of women in our struggle for freedom. You should be rejoicing. Rejoicing? <laughs> you helped organize a demonstration that involved over 200,000 people. We've come a long way. You got to remember that we're women, and that alone means that our approach has to be different. They call us the weaker sex, but underneath our quiet demeanor, is strength and determination that the world will have to reckon with. Uh, throughout history, we have been able to accomplish the impossible with a more subtle approach. If this had could talk, it would tell you, <laughs> life is hard and nothing comes easy. There's a long line of women uh, that we seldom talk about. Uh, they went into the fire and they got our people out. Uh, their sojourner truth, Harry Tubman, and that fiery Ida B. Wells. They were all born in slavery, but they got free and gave them hell. Oh, if this had could talk, uh, yeah, if this had could talk, yeah. Is any man just to straight and talk for women's rights and cry, Lord, ain't I a woman? Uh -huh. And if this hat could talk, la 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 la, if this hat could talk, talk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. long before there was Rosa Parks, uh -huh. way back in 1884, yeah. I'd be well stayed in a seat and said, I ain't standing up no more. <laughs> It was Harriet Tubman who made the way, uh -huh. helped the slaves get on the run. Uh -huh. There was no way they would turn him back, cause Mama Moses had a gun. Just a few of the many who fought the fight. Uh -huh. I'll read you 
to know there are many more who died for what was wrong. What a story it will tell. It's a story of courage. It's the story of truth. It's the story of struggle. It's the story of justice. It's the story of power. It's the story of sitting on the stage was not enough. If my memory serves me right, it wasn't long ago that we couldn't sit down at a lunch counter to eat or go to a restroom that wasn't outside. And the only place we could ride was in the back of a bus. If you miss me from the back of the bus and you can't find me nowhere, come on up to the driver's seat. I'll be driving up there. I'll be driving up there. I'll be driving up there. Oh, come on up to the driver's seat. And I'll be driving up there. My name is James Farmer. When I became national director of the Congress on Racial Equality in 1961, there were letters on my desk from blacks in the Deep South who complained that when they tried to sit on the front seats of the buses, or use the bus terminal facilities, they were beaten or jailed or thrown out or all three. Federal law said that there should be no segregation in interstate travel. The Supreme Court had decided that, but still state laws in the southern states and local ordinances ordered segregation of the races on those buses. Why didn't the federal government enforce its law? We decided it was because of politics. What we had to do was make it more dangerous politically for the federal government not to enforce federal law. They gonna let nobody turn, turn me around, turn me around, hey, turn me around. They gonna let nobody turn, turn me around. Gonna keep, keep on walking, hey, keep on hey, walking, walking up the freedom land. We decided the way to do it was to organize an interracial bus ride through the South. And this was not civil disobedience, really, because we would be doing merely what the Supreme Court said that we had a right to do. The blacks in the group would sit in the front of the bus, and the whites would sit in the back of the bus. And we would refuse to move when ordered. At every rest stop, the blacks would move into the waiting room for the whites, and the whites into the waiting room for the blacks. And we would seek to use all facilities, refusing to leave. Well, I woke up this morning yes. with my mind, and it was staying on freedom. Well, I woke up this morning with my mind, and it was staying on freedom. Well, I woke up this morning with my mind, and it was staying on freedom. Hallelujah. 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 A private plane would fly over the bus and there would be a state patrol car every 15 or 20 miles along the highway between Birmingham and Montgomery, about 90 miles. We would board the bus, and a great many of the riders would take a nap. I sat on the front of the bus, right behind the driver. I sat next to Jim Twerk, a young white guy, and I was a spokesman for this particular group of riders, and we did see the plane. But I would say about 40 miles or less from the city of Montgomery, all signs of protection disappeared. There was no plane. There was no patrol car. And when we arrived at that bus station, it was eerie. Just a strange feeling. It was so peaceful, so quiet, nothing. We didn't see any people, but we didn't see any police either. When the Greyhound bus arrived in Anniston, there was a mob of white men standing there at the terminal. Had a 
lot of nerve. He walked off that bus in front of us, and it was like the people in the mob were possessed. They couldn't believe that there was a white man who would help us. I'll be buried in my grave and go home to my Lord and be free. They grabbed him and put him into the mob. So I'm trying to be free. Which man is me? Slave or free? Sometimes my own worst enemy. Trying so hard to be a man about the man I want to be. Every day there's new reason to turn around and walk away. But I know deep down I've got to stand and fight for the things I want to slide. Mama used to tell me my reward is up on high. But as long as I got breath in my body, I'll fight until the day I die. So I'm trying to be free. Which man is me? Slave or free? Sometimes my own worst enemy. Trying so hard to be a man about the man I want to be. I make it, it's up to me. I gotta save my family and protect my race. And maybe this time I'll get it right. Oh, we are babies. You got to fight for it every day. Oh, we are babies. There's a price you got to pay. Oh, 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 we are babies. Though the struggle is mighty hard. Oh, we are babies. We're gonna make it by the grace. a long way since those early days. In spite of the beatings, the bombings, and the murders, we survived. The March on Washington was our opportunity to voice the dreams and the aspirations of our entire race. There will always be those who will find fault with anything you do. The important thing is that you were a part of it. So why does everything have to be a struggle? No struggle, no progress. If there's no obstacle, then there's nothing to fight for. A little victory is still a victory. Have you forgotten why the National Council of Negro Women even exists? No, Dr. Bethune. The purpose to which we have set our task is to give the world a view of who we are as defined by us. Dorothy, you have to make this happen. You can't forget who you are and the people you come from. Hold on, just a little while longer. Hold on, just a little while longer. Hold on, just a little while longer. Everything will be alright. Keep that plow in your hand. Land you straight into freedom, keep your hands. 